the clarity is perfect. <laughs> Jesus. With my, my ugly bonnets in my head. How you doing, how you doing, how you doing, how you doing? Ladies and gents, this is your girl, Jamila La Camara Food. This is your girl, Jamila La Camara Food. This is your girl, Jamila La Camara Food, people. How you doing? I hope all is well. So before we start the cooking, let's do the sharing because today we have like a very good clarity. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, one person just joining. God bless you. Today is the fastest cooking on the face of the earth. But before we do that, we have to go, we have to share. Sharing is caring. Oh, I, I like the thumb. I like the thumbnail today. <laughs> oh God, see where I stand? Never mind. Like the thumbnail today. Because normally the thumbnails are just awful. Hi guys, hi guys, I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing, we are going, we are going straight to the cooking. When I say straight to the cooking, it's straight to the cooking. This is so fast, but this is so delicious. This dish I'm going to create today, fast and delicious. When you talk about fast, okra, stew, think about this. This is the fastest. It's going to be fast and it's going to be delicious. It's going to be fast and delicious. Yeah. Fast and delicious. Fast and delicious, tasty. And this is going to be typical. Typical Sierra Leone fufu. Uh, uh, fufu, because yes, it's fufu. It's going to be okra soup for fufu. It's not going to be okra soup for rice. You can eat this with rice, it's, it depends. You can eat this with rice. But let me share first, because sharing is scary. We have to share, people. In this meal, is the sharing is, is the sharing takes very long, but the cooking. Mm. By the time I start, before you remember, mm, I finish. This is the Sierra Leonean okra stew. We got different nationalities have different way of cooking okra, but this is the typical Sierra Leonean way. Okay, because you know. If I cook the Ghanaian one, I cook tomatoes. What you want Lana for cook the, the best of the best Sierra Leonean okra soup? Join this life. An easy life. Just join and let me let me pop uh, in fact. Join the life an easy, very easy life. Why is it easy? It's the most easy. This life is very short. Because most of the things don't cook, but I just want to let you, you watch and see how all the ingredients then they go together. These are the typical, typical salon okra. So if you know how they cook salon okra, you did at the right place. I just the share. Uh, everybody waiting on the timeline and the share to me. My WhatsApp are they, some of them people are the customer day. For maybe what they life, they're not gonna So some of people they delete me. Look this. Uh, the best of Af uh, the best of Sierra Leone. They don't block me. The best of Sierra Leone, when I cook at the cuckoo, they don't block me. I want to share to them because they share. Now they don't block me. When I cook at the cuckoo, we don't have a naked picture and share with you. They don't block me. Now you know, if you are my time at the line, I will share to you. If you don't like it, block me. 
Yes, na cook and cook. We well, can cook the best of the best. Salon okra. Maybe you don't you don't taste salon okra some side. You don't know how it goes. And this na na for fufu because some salon okra there you go use rest for it. Huh? This na for fufu. I don't make the salon fufu already. I've made the Serenian fufu already, but I'm sharing. You know? Because I have to share. Because when I share, maybe one or two persons will be there. who are ready to learn. So, now, let me share to my, my Facebook. Yes, it's on the Facebook. Yes, 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 yes. Now is the cooking time, and I'm so happy the way this pot is today. Yes, perfect. If you are going to watch this later, or you are watching it now, Please guys, do not forget to thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Show your support. Show your support. When you show your support, it's good. This is the best thing about, if I can find the a lighter. This is the best thing about live cooking. Live cooking, you cannot escape these little, little noises because it's live. That's what makes it live. You know? So, start here. Light the Yes. Okay. Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Let me get myself a tiny background noise. Hello guys, hello guys, how you doing, how you doing? For those who are going to watch later, uh, please do not forget if you are watching now or later just don't forget to thumbs up the video because the more you thumbs up the more you when you thumbs up the video you support me and my agenda Right, we're going to start now. This is the best of the best. Sierra Leonean okra. When you want to enjoy thorough Sierra Leonean okra, you are in the right place, my dear. First, oops, sorry. Yeah. We are going to start. This is the Sierra Leonean okra. Because you know most of the time, the okra I cook, either different African countries that I've traveled to. Yes. Because I want to monitor this cooking. That's why I'm going 
on my on my other phone to see because I want to see what is happening. Yes. Live cooking, this is what you have to expect. <laughs> right. First of all, I'm going to add this water. This water, actually, I I, I just put like a half a cup of water to add in the blender to to just because I don't want I I blend the pepper the Scott Bonnet pepper so I just add like half a cup of water just to to get this remaining in the blender yes so the first thing we are going to put here. I've got your chicken feet. Yes, you can see. I've got your chicken feet. Make sure you wash the chicken feet nicely. You know that chicken feet have a lot of gelatin. It's very, very gelatin. So it's good for this kind of dish. If I buy this chicken foot, but if you are somebody who doesn't eat chicken feet, please skip this one. Make sure you remove the, the nails. You wash clean, clean, remove some of the excess, uh, um, excess um, uh, um, skin. Okay? So, and then I'm going to add ginger and garlic paste. This is half a root of ginger. This is half a root of ginger, and then three cloves of garlic. This is straightforward cooking, okay? And I have three Maggi cubes, and I have dry thyme. Three Maggi cubes. Let me see if I can able to. Three Maggi cubes. Go and wash this because I need all that remaining ginger and garlic out of that bowl. Because in this house, we don't waste anything. I need to waste nothing. So three cloves of ginger, a half a root of garlic, uh, sorry, half a, three cloves of garlic, half a root of ginger, and chicken foot. If you don't want chicken foot, just put what you like. Dry thyme and three, three Maggi cubes. Okay? <coughs> you add a big pepper. In Sierra Leone, we call this big pepper. Here, they call it habanero and they, or, or scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of water this as well because I don't want to. I, I'm not wasting anything here. You know, we don't waste anything because we need that liquid, okay? So, in here now, I have my scotch bonnet pepper, but scotch bonnet pepper is up to you, your preference, what you can take. Okay, that's why I don't like to doil on the, 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 the spice. But I have three Maggi cubes in the spot and three bobs of garlic, half a root of ginger in this spot and, and dry thyme. Okay, you can use any thyme of your choice. All right? Straightforward cooking. This is my favorite homemade it's even sold out. The one I make day before yesterday sold out. Prawn seasoning. This is another one you are going to buy. Maybe that is sand, nothing. This is well seasoned. Prawn season. So if you want some, just leave a comment on the comment section. I sell the package. I ship all over the world. Okay? Prawn seasoning. That's about a, a three tablespoons of prawn seasoning. Okay? Because you need the prawn seasoning. That is why when you use the prawn seasoning, so you cannot you cannot put any MSG or bad bad maggies, colorful maggies, because sometimes they disguise this maggie. When it's very, very colorful, they just give it flimsy names, but it's all MSG. So use the original maggie cubes. The original maggie cube it <coughs> is beef. Okay? The original maggie na beef. So now I make it for you, Maggie. So in here, I have three bay leaves. 
Now I'm bringing the protein. So this is my homemade dry fish, smoked mackerel. I smoked this myself. Homemade smoked mackerel. Because this is straightforward cook. This is goat meat. This is the leftover from a food I cooked because I, I buy a kilo of goat meat. So I boil everything together in salted water and I divide it to two. So this is the, the, the half part of the, the, the one kilo. Okay, so I can say this half a kilo. This goat meat is already pre-cooked. And here we have deer. We have reindeer. Reindeer, we call in Africa bush meats. This is reindeer. We add this in this pot. Straightforward cooking, no left, no right. And then, this palm oil. Because now I don't know. I'm, I, <coughs> let me open this door. Because now I don't know, I'm afraid of some of this palm oil, they put coloring. So this palm oil, I actually bought the two cans. Two cans of pa um, palm nuts. Um, the one in the, in the can, the, the one in the can, the palm nuts, um, I don't know how you call them, the banga. The, the one in the can. The palm nuts, uh, I don't know how you call it, please write it to me, for me. So I just buy two cans and I open that in the pot and I leave it to boil. So that's why I extract this palm oil. So now this, I no say, you no get no chemical, you no get no coloring, nothing. It's pure. You buy the can, you can find the can, the, the, the liquid of the palm kernel nuts. You know, you know, I don't know, that's a name for it. When the name comes, I'll, I'll let you know because I've already showed the can. So I buy like two can. So if you are cooking for children, uh, please buy the two can. You just put it in the pot and leave it until the, the, the palm oil come up, you know. So you know that you can cook this for your child now, it's very safe. Because some they put coloring, so this is two can, two can of it. Like for for uh, for Sierra Leonean now, you can use this to make pemawi. You can use this to to eat. You just boil your rice and put some on top. What we can call dry rice. So you know it's going to give you a very nice flavor when you go to those African shop. They have different different kind. You have like zomi. You, you have different different kind of. Palm nuts, uh, uh, palm nuts gravy or whatever you call it. <laughs> it looks like a gravy in the cup. If I haven't thrown the cup away, I could have gone and read what is what's the name of it. Because normally we use it a lot in Africa, so I don't have, I don't bother to to watch the name. So now I add the palm oil. So I'm going to add these crabs. Normally. I don't put the crab early. Normally, I know they put the crab early on this cooking because I normally overcook. But this now, while they cook, so I want to release some stock, the crab stock, so they give me more maggi because now only three maggi I put here, and then the and uh, uh, the prawn seasoning. Okay, steady, so gentle, gentle, gentle like this, gentle, 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 because this is for fufu. Okay, this na for fufu, right? So now I'm going to add the onion. This is two type of onion, two type two type of onions with an S, the white one and the purple one. But it's up to you. The one you normally use, just use it. You stir this across like this. So now, because this 
okra soup is for fufu. So I'm just going to add two cups of water, hot water. Do not put cold water. When the thing starts boiling, do not put cold water. Do not put cold water at all. So now, because I love pepper so much, I'm going to put two whole Scott boiling pepper and add the water. And leave that to shimmer. Do not put any salt yet. Because the smoke mackerel, there's salt in the smoke mackerel. And, uh, and the goat meat was just cooked with salt. No other ingredients. And there's three cubes of Maggi here. So after, we will know if we need the salt. Okay? So now, one more ingredient before, okay? Do not put any Asian spice in this cooking because this is typical Sierra Leonean okra and you put black pepper and white pepper mix because this is my own homemade, so it's homemade, I make my own because I don't like to buy black pepper or white pepper in the shelf. Because black pepper and white pepper in the shelf, I don't like to buy because they mass produce them. So what I do, I buy the seeds. When I buy the seeds, I toast them. I leave the pots to, to be very hot. And then I toast the, the white pepper seeds and the black pepper seeds for four minutes. And I blend it because while you have to toast it, it can release that black pepper toasted, roasted smell, and then you can, you, can, you, can, you can preserve it for a year. It's not gonna be moldy. That is why you have to toast it before you blend it. So you know that it's not, it's not mass produced, it's not been mixed in anything, you know? So here, let's say one tablespoon of that, it's all that mix, okay? So now, because do not forget the goat meat is already been pre-cooked because it was the goat meat was one kilo. I be one kilo, I divide them to two. It was one kilo, I divide it into two. I boil everything together for one hour, only salt, wash clean, clean. You boil with only salt because you are using a lot of ingredients, so you don't boil the goat meat with plenty ingredients. You boil it with only, you wash it clean, you boil with only salt, so the salt can go inside the bone. So, now we cover, because normally I use my rapid cooker, but today because of, it's, only, it's like one way cooking, yeah? Let me see if, you, if I can tip the camera so we can this, so I can talk to you a bit. As this is boiling. Let me see if you can see me. God bless you. God bless all of you who are going to watch later, who are watching now. This is your girl, Jamila Kamara Food. Yes. Please support, thumbs up the video because when you thumbs up the video, YouTube suggests the video because I don't like to to have a fake following. I like people like you who come and follow naturally. We are building up the page, slowly, slowly. One day, one day, we're gonna get there. Get the audience we need. One day, one day. Perseverance is the key. Perseverance is the key. Perseverance is the key. That is why I always advise people, when you wanna go, when you want to come on YouTube, bring what you like to do, 
on YouTube because if you don't bring what you like to do on YouTube, you'll be frustrated. Don't say when you see people, you, you see people on YouTube, maybe they are cooking, you see people on YouTube, maybe they are cooking. Exactly. Thank you very much, darling. When you see people are cooking, people are doing things, and then you say, oh, they have a lot of following, maybe they are making a lot of money. And then when you come, uh, you, you come to YouTube, you'll be frustrated. Because sometimes I'll be on this life on my own. But for the past almost two years coming now, but I don't give up because cooking is my passion. When I'm cooking, it's like people who are drug addicts, when they are taking drugs, as I, that's what cooking does for me. It gives me a, a, a kind of buzz. Yes, actually when I cook my food, I have people around, they eat my food and satisfy. It gave me, it gave me a lot of joy. So that is why some of you, you say, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. It, it's not easy to be a YouTuber, a YouTuber. But if you have a talent, bring it. Because perseverance, one day, one day, it will pay off. Okay. Now, sometimes I have Alberts in this channel. When I started, I can make a video, maybe it's only three people who view it. When I started, three people who view it, only three. But because of, this is my food. I'm going to eat this, I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly. So if I put it on camera, you support me, it's just a bonus, you know? So this up close up today, if you just join, watch it from the beginning because this is not the Ghanaian way, this is not the, 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 the Nigerian way, not, to, no, not the Cameroonian way. This is the typical Sierra Leonean way. That is why you did not see I put any, any tomatoes, the Ghanaian ones, Nigerian ones, Cameroonian, you have tomatoes with another ingredient. Okay? So let me open. bring this here. So always, always, if you are on YouTube or you are watching this, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. When you give up, you don't give up in life. You don't give up. I've been here now almost two years coming, but I'm getting excited to be on YouTube more and more every day. Most of the time, I'll be here on my own. I'll be here on my own. Maybe two days later, maybe if I go and watch, I'll see maybe 100 people or 200 people um, and view it. So if you are one of those 100 people or 200 people, please do not forget, thumbs up the video. If you like what you see, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. It doesn't matter. Just thumbs up. This is cooking. This is cooking. Let me tip the camera. Sierra Leonean okra soup. If you don't know how to thumbs up, go in, and, go in and out. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. This is the best thing about. Life cooking. This is the best thing about life cooking. You know, you have some background noise because it's not edited video, so and it's not a long video. So I'm just I'm just washing some of the leaves. I'm going to add washing some of the bowls. I use. Because the best way to, to cook, because some people are afraid when they are cooking, when they finish cooking, they have to go and wash the dishes. Don't do it. When you are cooking, you are washing. When you finish, you just eat. You don't need to wash nothing. You don't need to wash no bowl, no nothing. You just eat and enjoy the food and relax. But when you have to pile things up, when you finish the cooking, you become very, very tired. 
So the house will be so messy. Because sometimes it's better to watch live cooking so you see the ingredients. Because my cooking, I don't cook with a scale. Because the one who teach me or taught me how to cook, you don't put scale, you just use your mind. You know less is more. You know less is more. You know if you know if, you will know if you don't like a lot of palm oil, you put less. You will know. So now I've washed all my dishes because I don't have a dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, I don't know why. My husband wanna buy me a dishwasher. I say I don't want a dishwasher. Because I don't know. I just think I don't know. Maybe one day one day I'll change I'll change my mind. Because I just think that when they wash the, the dishes are washed in the in the machine, they don't wash clean. I don't know. It's just don't mind me, it's just a I don't know how to call the stupid talks. Okay. So let's tell this now. Let's tell this. This is the typical Sierra Leonean okra soup. In Sierra Leone, we cook this very simple. In here, I can able to, 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 to tell you exactly what I put in here. I bought um, two cups of um, <laughs> palm, palm canel. Eh? Yeah. So, you know, you know that that banga, that banga went inside that cup. The palm nuts, the palm nuts, uh, um, liquid in that in the can. That palm nut liquid in the can, just buy that. The broth in, in, in the can. You buy two. When you buy two, you put in the pots. You put it inside pots, you left them. Let it boil, let the palm oil settle. When the palm oil settle, so now you know, say you get fresh palm oil. When you're not putting nuts in pan, you're not putting chemical. If you want, because the, the that, that two cup, they give like a two pints of palm Oh, sorry, one pint of palm oil. Those two cups can give you when it's really when uh, when it's dissolved very very nicely, and then you condense it to zero. It will give you like a pint of pure palm oil. So this is what I use here. This is two cups. You know, the 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 the, the, the palm nuts. I don't know how it's called. I forgot. I've I've thrown the cup away. I could have tell you exactly how it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. We all know what I talk about. The banga, just buy two cup. Actually, if they, if they feed that food day to picking them, if they feed them to picking them, because some of them per mind they now they put color for and for red. Buy, buy banga, you buy two cup, the big cup. You buy two cup. If you want to eat fresh, fresh per mind like this, you buy two cup. You not put water there, just open and you put it inside the pot, you left them. Let it condense. The permine they come up, you drain them. So they give you this permine. So inside I get three magi. And I get four scotch bonnet pepper. But then they don't left to you. If you're not possible, like hot pepper. I get three magi, I get goat meat. Because I've been buying one kilo the other day. I boil them with I boil them for one hour. With salt, I was and clean a boil for one hour with salt, and not put no magi or any other ingredient to a boil them. So I take them, I divide them. So this now the half a kilo. So yeah, I get chicken food. If you don't like chicken food, just left them because of chicken food. It is fine for this kind of okra soup because the the the, the gelatin and this chicken food they just give that the okra the definition we need. Okay, so. I get one crab inside. I get one crab, and then I get bush meat. When I dare, mind this, bush meat. 
and I get two tablespoons of a homemade prawn seasoning by Jamila Kamara. And then I get dry thyme, like a half a teaspoon of dry thyme. I get three bay leaves and I get two onions. Uh, okay, one onion because of I cut the, the big white onion, I cut a middle, I divide it into two. I have about one onion here, but half purple, half white onion in here. And then one tablespoon of black pepper and white pepper mix. But you can only use black pepper, it's up to you. It's your choice. And I have um, half a root of ginger in here, half a root of ginger, and then four cloves of garlic, four or three. I don't remember, but you can, it doesn't matter anyway. So now I can taste to see if I need salt. Okay? Before I add, because it's straightforward cooking, people. I'm going to, oh yes. Oh shit. Check the sauce out. Don't joke, Dai. Do not joke. Do not joke with this okra soup. This is typical Sierra okra soup. So now, but in Sierra Leone, when you cook this, you don't put um, spinach. But for me, I love spinach. I love spinach. I love the fresh spinach. I don't like the canned spinach. The fresh spinach is the best. And then the fresh spinach too is good for you. It's going to give you all the nutrients you need in it. It's going to give you a lot of iron. Iron in your body. And then I'm going to put basil. Because in my country, when we cook this, we put basil. Apparently, when in Sierra Leone, we call it pasmenji. Yes, it's basil. Okay, basil, you put on this. Basil and spinach, let me work. I, I washed it earlier with salt. I just, I just washed it again. I don't know because all you know me, I'm obsessed with washing and cleaning, okay? So let's tear this again and see. I don't need salt yet, but maybe when I add the, the okra, things are going to change. Because okra is a kind of uh, um, vegetable, it can take salt. But because of the prawn, se that, uh, uh, the prawn seasoning, that is salt in the prawn seasoning, and I have three Maggi cubes, and then the, I boil the, the goat's meat also in salt, salted water, and then the homemade smoked mackerel that is salt in it. So cooking is so easy. You just have to remember the the protein you are using. What if you put salt in the protein and all those things? You just have to remember because if you are, you are, you want to go and read a menu to cook these kind of dishes, by the time you finish reading the menu. You, you'll be saying now, let me just go look to look for a joint, I, uh, a, a restaurant where I can buy the food. It's more easy. But cooking is so easy here. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Why I like cooking? Because it, it fulfills it fulfill everything. Because the taste, the cleanliness, and you know exactly what goes inside the cooking and everything. That is why you will know, because some people will say how long would it will take. Because some people, they invest their time to write. You think that, oh, they, they have this fast, 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 fast. I have um, 
a lot of professional videos, but sometimes it's so fast, and sometimes people lies a lot. They will, they will, they will edit the video. Oh, that's a spinach going inside. It's no problem. They will edit the video to uh, uh, to the point that. And they will say, oh, just go to the description button, all the, the, the listing of the, the, the measurements, they are lying. Because you can see when they, are, when they are cooking, they are not measuring. But just because they want, to, they, they want to make the cooking so fast, they will go and write maybe even the things they don't even put in that cooking. They don't even know the measurement of it. So just use your mind. Cooking, use your mind. You know that less is more. Just use your mind, less is more. Because this, if I was going to eat this with rice, I was going to leave this for the water to go right down. But because of this, it's not going to be eaten with rice. And then most of the things inside here, they are already pre-cooked. The goat meat has been cooked. And then you, chicken feet, uh, um, is. You can cook chicken feet like this chicken feet. You can just cook it for 20 minutes. So by the time this is finished, those chicken feet are already cooked. The smoked fish and then prawn seasoning, everything is just going to make life so tasty, so tasty. And but because of this, I'm going to eat this with fufu. You need to know the technique because you want when you are eating this with fufu, so the the okra can be very, 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 very. Um, how you call it? Um, <laughs> I, I, I like when it's very, very slippery. You can see. I, I like me 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 okro soup. Way me okro soup. Very, very way they draw. I like them. Mm -hmm. Taste again. Oh. Oh, child! Mmm! Jenny, I'm coming to eat now. Oh. Jesus! Jesus! Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Oh! The food is so good! The food is so good! The food is so good! When the food is so good, now I need a little bit of salt because I need a little bit of salt. Let's say this amount of salt. Put it, put it, put it, put it, let me go, let me go. In fact, let me play. I have a song. They make a song for me because. If I play any other songs, YouTube will flag the video. But in this one, they're not going to flag it because of, it's my song. It's my song. It's my song. It's my song. Let's see if you can listen to it. Where they make for me so 
You see, everybody will support the way they move. Everybody for support the way we able for support. I mean, between and as alone. And then say, Mama, the only support we will do for you, we will bring out some. And they had another two cups of water. In fact, let, let it be one cup. Because this na fufu, na fufu okrosu. Na fufu okrosu. So now, and you can't pull them. You now go see, I go eat on her face. You are going to see now, I'm going to chop this. You know? Go antelope. No, no, antelope, deer. We call bush meat, goat meat, chicken feet, crab. You can't go wrong in this, trust me. You will never go wrong in this. Okay, you see how it is now? So this is the, the amount of liquid right now we want in this, okay? Let me just clean here a bit so my OCDC cannot kick in. OCDC cannot kick in. OCDC cannot kick in. This way. Yes. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Right. So now you're gonna see now. I'm going to share this very very soon. I'm gonna sit here and eat it. So some of you might ask me how long it takes to cook this. Um, when the video is done, you can see the the the, the 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 because it's not edited video, so I cannot tell you exactly. But when the video finish, you can see. You, you will know right now, if you check, you will know when I started and you know when I'm going to finish. So let me show you first the fufu. I have already made the fufu earlier. This, you buy your own cassava. This is Sierra Leonean fufu. Buy your own cassava. You, you wash the cassava nicely peel it and then find a, like a, a rubber you put the cassava you put some water you leave this for seven days to ferment you leave this for seven days for to ferment like like this now it's one pound fifty for the packet i bought the packet because if you buy the packets in the asian shop or wherever the cassava don't open the packet. Just leave it inside the packet for seven days. Don't open the packet. Well, if you buy the cassava, you peel the cassava, you, you, you soak the cassava for seven days to ferment. But if you buy it in the packet, just leave the packet as it is in the corner of your kitchen, not in the fridge, anywhere it's warm. You leave it for seven days to ferment. So you get your perfect. Because if you were going to buy this, maybe the way they're going to sell it to you, maybe after you finish making it, it's going to give you that. But look at this, give me all this. I've already cooked it nicely. So I'm going to have one. But first, I'm going to put the, st I'm bringing the start of the show. Spread. Okay. This is the star of the show. And the star of the show need an agent. I need that my, 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 my local bicarbonate soda. This is local bicarbonate soda in Sierra Leone, would you call this Ruby? This is the local one, you know? This is the local one, but you can use any bicarbonate soda of your choice, baking soda of your choice. But if you are using baking soda, just use a quarter, because if not, your okra is going to be so black that you don't want it. So let's cover this for a minute, for this to steam. Normally, I will spread uh, um, the onions on top, but because I have already 
put the onions before because I wanted the the the, the, the production to be so fast. That is why I use the the uh, onions. I can't get my words out today. You know, I have a problem. So do not worry, any bad English you hear here, it's not going to be the first time to hear bad English. It's not going to be the last time. Because I'm just trying to mix and match. Because I, I have like a, a few uh, different nationalities who are, who are watching. They told me that they're watching. So that is why I try to make it a little bit fair. You know? And now, because... Because before it's just strictly, strictly broke in English. But now I even speak Creole. Because that was the day I was on Facebook Live. I was cooking their life. I have two people who were commenting. The other one was okay because he was very nice. But the other one was trying to, to undermine my, my talents. So I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. I have to say something. But the other one was nice. He said, Jamila, you have to be, you have to mix because some, or, or sometimes just speak your, your language. No, because if I just stick to my language, I want to diversify that the word of English. You see, like this, because some people, what they will do, they will make sure they put a lot of they will make sure they put because this okra I want this to be crunchy it's not going to be overcooked because I need the nutrients from the okra I need the nutrients from the okra so it's not going to be overcooked at all I just want the baking soda to do its thing because uh, it's not baking soda uh, it's uh, a local bicarbonate soda. We call it African bicarbonate soda. In my country, we call it Lubi. So, so, so that, by, uh, the, that local bicarbonate soda is going to make this okra too. It's already cut, soft. You see, it's our warm okra. But I need more gelatin. I need more gelatin. So I'm going to force. Because some people, they'll blend the okra. I don't like the okra to be blend. When the okra is blend, it becomes another thing else. I don't like it. Unless if I'm making like a stew, and I'm going to eat that stew with fufu, and I can blend the okra to, to give me just something to, to swallow fast. Okay? So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my spinach, because I don't want this to overcook. I need the nutrients out of it. So now I'm going to put the spinach on top. Do not worry, even if it's one packet of spinach, you might think that, oh, it's too much. Here I have the spinach and the, and the basil. In my country, they, they call it pasmenji. Yes, pasmenji. Basil. You spread it. You spread it, you spread it. This is the reason why you don't want your okra to overcook, your spinach to overcook, because you need the nutrients in both. Let me get a, let me, let me open my, mm, nah. Hello? 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 These people. You see, this is the reason, and I cannot off this phone because I'm monitoring the food. This is the reason. This is all the, the drama. That's why people don't like to go to do life. You see? Salon Fufu Tigi. I'm going to put this now because it's cold now. 
because I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep this now. I'm going to keep one of these in the freezer because I'm going to eat this tomorrow also with this sauce. So this in the freezer. So when I want to eat this, I'll just like put this in a Ziploc bag and put, uh, um, um, put it in a, uh, a pot, put some water and boil for about 10 minutes and, and bring the fufu back to, al to life. But well, when it's cold, we put it in the freezer. So let me turn this bad girl now, or this bad boy. Up. Right. Ooh. Ooh. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? It's what I'm talking about. It's what I'm talking about. So now I can go in the middle and do this. Instead of blending, I can still have. Ooh, it cannot even stay in the spoon. It's so, ooh, it cannot even stay in the spoon anymore. <laughs> and this is done. Because if I was going to do this for rice, it has a, I have to leave this to the water to go right down to almost zero because of its rice. But this is because of with fufu. That's done. And we don't want that to. I've just dulled the, the fire now because we don't want that to to to, to burn. Let me go and get myself a seat. And so you can see when I'm enjoying. So I'm going to I'm coming to give you some appetite. Chair. This chair is so, it's so old, but I like it. Mm. I have to take it outside and sit down so maybe you can see me. It's like put the camera nice way. Whoa, yay! So now. My people, I'm just going to do what I have to do for the ground. You know, I share myself all, everywhere. I share myself everywhere. Sometimes when I share, people block me. My own people block me. The, the, the foreigners ac accept my, my cooking on their, on their thing. Sometimes my own people block me, but it doesn't matter. I will persevere. One day, one day. Let me take a picture for so this look nice like this. Let me just tear it to come up a bit. Ooh, child. Hi guys. This is your girl Jamila Kamara food. Today I have just made the most delicious Sierra Leonean okra soup to eat with this bad boy fufu. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Jamila Kamara food. Press the notification bell whenever I come up you'll be notified. And give thumbs up. Yes. On Instagram is Jamila K1. On TikTok is Jamila K1. YouTube Jamila Kamara Food. It's a very fast meal. If, but if you want to enjoy okra soup, this is the place to be. Jamila Kamara Food. Okay? And God bless you. Let me take now this time. He's done his job. This is time, please. Now, let, me, let me put it in the corner here. So this is done. The only thing left now for me, God, I was still on live. <laughs> I was still recording, I'm talking. So this is done. The only thing left now for me, let me get myself some water and then come and do the, 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 the destruction. We call it destruction. So I'm coming out to get, get myself some water to drink. I don't want to choke.
I don't want to choke. Right? And then put this here, water here, and put this here. I think today I have actually good angle. I'll be cooking here. So bring this like this, because it's there I'm going to sit. And then I'm gonna show you. I didn't even show you how to, how I. Somebody will be there now. If you are a pregnant woman here on this life, forgive me. And they sell cream. If you pick it, get bonbon, call me. Yeah, me like you wait do to me. Wait you do to me moths. Wait you do to me pallets. And this okra is going to be so crunchy. It's going to be crunchy but delicious. You're gonna have the best of the best nutrients. That gave me good to me. Okay, wait. The chicken feet. Let me, let me crab, let me crab there. The other thing. Mm -hmm. Goat meat. More chicken feet. <laughs> Yeah, take this fish and put it up here. Yeah. You can't beat this, darling. This is uh, African food to die for. African food, typical Sierra Leonean. Because when, when actually the one who teach me how to cook this, she did not put spinach. But now I cannot cook okra without spinach. Because the spinach make, just makes so much difference when you are cooking okra. I'll put it there. So let me wipe first before I start the mass destruction because I'm going to destroy this now now. But I have to to take a picture. This is what you do. If you want to be a YouTuber, this is what you do. Promote yourself. Yeah? Share. If you are in your groups, just share. It doesn't matter. Some people may get my message. Oh, not selling them before I'm again of like like a lembaku. Baku Baku Salon uh, um, motivational uh, salon motivational uh, uh, group then then delete delete all right now they send them to any Nigerians Ghanaians change them but they accept them but no, 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 let your heart not well just do your normal one day one day perseverance mm. some people let them know like now why they do this? Some people they don't know. When God answer me prayer, pass you see them, they come up. It's in the middle, I guess you know, you do, you do forget her. But now, who now will tell them soon I lie? Now lie, they lie, not to juju. Jamila, we don't do it for long. I, I don't follow Jamila for many years. So tell them, they will they go live for cook. Nobody they watch and safe. But it's still lady. Now, now will defend me. Hi guys, this is typical Sierra Leonean okra soup and, and spinach and Sierra Leonean fufu. Yes, goat meat, crab, chicken feet, um, bush meat, smoked uh, mackerel. As you can see, subscribe to my YouTube channel Jamila Kamara Food. My TikTok is Jamila K1. My Instagram is Jamila K1. Right. Now, let me ask this now for you, for you see me. Oh, you see me? My foot them white. Because I live and test cream for people in me. My foot, my foot, my foot white fast with man. I live and test cream them. Better when I winter. Because if in a summer, Oh, come on, I do. Wow, that's me. I'm going to be inside the lot. Look at it. Look at it. Bring it closer. Let's see. Ooh. A 
don't forget to thumbs up the video. If I sit here, can you see me? No, you can't. Let me, let's do this this way. I'm far away, but never mind. I'm very far away. Lord, bless this food in the name of His Almighty Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, please provide for the for my providers. Provide more for my providers. Provide for the poor, the needy, the homeless. Please, Lord, provide for them. Provide food for them as you provide for me. In the name of His Almighty Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Ooh. 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 Salon Fufu, Salon Okro. Oh, the Okro in a degree. Lalo Kaito, join me, people. The Okro don't want to stay. <laughs> Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth no I surprised myself you know sometimes you can cook a meal walk of it Mm. My sister, if you are watching this live, go and recreate this, you will not regret it. Mm. If you are watching this live, go and, regret, go and recreate this, you will never regret this. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh. Look. See how slippery, see? It's how you want your okra to be very, very sticky and, you know, this is how you want your okra. Ooh. And it just cooked to perfection. The okra just cooked for about five minutes and the spinach for two minutes. So you got the nutrients from the okra. Oh, the, fufu. <laughs> the fufu don't want to stay in my hand. It will stay. Mm. I feel, I'm feeling sorry if somebody is pregnant or, or a pregnant woman. A pregnant woman is on this life. Oh, this is the chicken feet. Oh. Is the the goat meat? Mm. Oh. Fresh crab, oh, just, just, it's very hot. Fufu, come here, let me slow, slow, slow. Fufu, come here. 
it's what I do. I talk to myself. Maybe even somebody's not even up, but but you know, it's my food. I cook it, and then it's up. Mm. Look, look at the crab. Oops, this is the fresh crab. Squeeze it like that. Get out all that lo lovely inside. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you very much and God bless you all for those of you who come on this live. I'm gonna finish on Facebook. <laughs> God bless you. I don't want the video to be longer than this. Please do not forget to thumbs up the video. God bless you. Goodbye.